So a lot of these things I'm saying to you will go as far as you're willing to believe. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hanstrock. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. All things working together for good for you is a glory. Wouldn't that be glorious? Having all things work together for good for you? Mm -hmm. It is in fact a glory of God that we can partake of now if you look at Romans chapter 8 28 it says all things work together for good to them that love God if you look back at verse 18 it says for I reckon the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us so all things listen you got to hear this all things working together for good for you is a glory that works in you and is a, a glory of god now i could go on and on about that that it is a glory of god but we have to go somewhere today and you can see that that would be glorious wouldn't it oh, yeah. so a glory that shall be revealed in us is all things working together for good and that doesn't mean everybody goes yeah it's all bad things no it means all things all of creation every atom everything working together it works for you say this works for me, it works for me. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 says for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea now how much does the do the waters cover the sea that's pretty much all of it right it's completely saturated I mean it literally is the sea the earth shall be filled where's the earth we're on the earth right am I wrong no we are on the earth the Holy Ghost is on the earth with us the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the what glory of the Lord so there will be knowledge of this glory now remember we said all things working together for good for you is a glory of God and this knowledge of the glory of God is going to cover all the earth this glory it covers that all things working together for good for you mm -hmm. it covers it mm -hmm. and we're on earth all the earth shall be filled right yep. so all things on earth working together for good for you is covered by this glory of God that works in you and on you is this good news mm -hmm. so can we agree that the glory of God shall cover the earth yes and part of that glory is all things working together for good for you mm -hmm. yes. right mm -hmm. how much is this glory gonna cover the earth all of it what would be on the earth would that be all things so this is covering all things it covers that all things working together for good for you you seeing this mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost so your body is the temple of who the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost who is in you which you have of God meaning your body is something you have of God and you are not your own for you are bought with a price therefore 
glorify glorify say glorify. glorify glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's so what God are you going to glorify in your body it says the Holy Ghost you're the temple of the Holy Ghost and as a temple you are to glorify the God that's in your body I am his temple I glorify him I glorify God in my body and where am I where's my body where's your body it's right here yeah on earth this glory that covers the earth right we agreed on this this glory that covers the earth shall manifest through me because I am his temple on this earth my worship of him is what manifests this glory you got to get this my worship of him is what manifests this glory and I will say this that if you don't worship him the Lord of Spirits you will not have access to these rooms of glory that I am talking about this evening they will remain closed unto you did you see that glorify God in your body other translations say worship God so the worship and glorifying of God is going to be in and through you and how much of the earth is this gonna cover all things working together for good for you get it straight say I got it straight good you can come up to the front now let's talk about a few words mm -hmm. have you heard of orthodoxy orthopraxy means right practice orthodoxy means right believing or right belief we get the word ortho literally means to straighten or to get right have you heard of an orthodontist mm -hmm. what do they do they straighten teeth and they get them right mm -hmm. sometimes <laughs> right mm -hmm. so orthopraxy is right practice and when I say get that straight mm -hmm. that's what we're talking yeah. about Romans chapter 10 verse 3 for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God so what they were practicing wasn't going to get them to where they needed to be look down at verse verse 6 but the righteousness of faith speaks so what is the right practice speaking and then it goes down and says what saith it verse 8 what saith it the word mm -hmm. so you have to have the word in your mouth that's the right practice orthopraxy is having the word of God in your mouth mm -hmm. which means you have to say it are you here yes. and if we look down into let's see verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved so now here we have a right belief right yep. mm -hmm. orthodoxy is the right belief orthopraxy is the right practice and the right practice we've shown is the righteousness of faith the rightness of faith speaks heterodoxy a belief or doctrine that differs from strict orthodox views but falls short of heresy and I'll show you this Acts 24 verse 14 it says but this I confess so he's confessing something this I confess unto thee that after the way which they call heresy so worship I the God of my fathers believing all things are you starting to see this he's confessing something he's worshiping God 
and he's believing all things which are written in the law and in and in the prophets and have hope towards God which they themselves also allow that there shall be a resurrection of the dead both of the just and the unjust so here he says he's believing and confessing confessing and worshiping God in a way that they allow but they don't practice it they allow this belief heterodoxy because they're allowing it but they don't practice it are you here mm -hmm. this is gonna matter in a minute I hope this matters in a minute I guess my point right there is that they allow it but they don't practice it they don't practice it and that's what you see in a majority of churches where they believe yeah the Holy Ghost yeah he's God but they don't carry it through to where it's a practice a praxy in their churches nor do they confess or do other things like worship him as God mm. are you here mm -hmm. it's kind of like you just went to seminary tonight isn't it mm -hmm. because those are words you don't hear unless you go <laughs> unless you're in second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13 we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believed and therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak and we can see that the two are together here mm -hmm. orthodoxy and orthopraxy together you're speaking and you're believing say I'm speaking, I'm speaking. And, I'm believing. and I'm believing say I'm believing, I'm believing. And, I'm and I'm speaking I believe in saying God's Word can you see why I went through those things right now I believe in saying God's Word that's where my belief is mm -hmm. where's your belief it's in saying God's Word it's not just in the Word because you can put the Bible on the shelf and it does nothing but I believe in saying God's Word I could even say it this way I believe in the said Word of God that's the spirit of faith and herein is our heterodoxy a lifestyle of saying and believing it falls sort of in the things that they would accept but it's not something they do and living this way get this living this way is an act of worship and who am I worshiping as I'm doing this act the Holy Ghost who is in this body who is in this temple yep. I'm speaking and believing in agreement with him glorifying God in my body first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy how many things does he give you all, all things so here we have a living God and we could go down this trail who is the living God the Holy Ghost. so the Holy Ghost is the living God and this living God who dwells in you your body right mm -hmm. and where are you you're on the earth so this living God on the earth in you and with you is going to richly give you all things to enjoy meaning all things working together for good for you how much money would you need to never have to worry about money ever again the answer is all of it he says richly gives you all things is money a thing all things would be all money right this is the foundation of a stable currency mm. now Jesus talked in parables very often 
and one of the reasons was a parable allows the hearer to go as far into that as they can believe so a lot of these things I'm saying to you will go as far as you're willing to believe mm -hmm. living God gives you richly all things to enjoy how far does that go gives you richly all things so you are a part of it it's as far as you are willing to believe and speak Deuteronomy 8 18 says God gives me power to get wealth how much wealth the answer is all of it now some people would choke at that and other people would be like yes that's right mm -hmm. how is that it allows you to go as far in this as you're willing to believe mm -hmm. and speak God gives you power to get wealth how much wealth does God give you power to get did he limit it is there a limit in there the answer is all of it Romans 8 21 the creature itself or creation itself say creation itself creation itself do you know what that is do you know what creation is you're part of it it's the earth you're standing on and everything around it creation itself are you here creation itself shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God how much of creation will be delivered into the glorious liberty of the children of God the answer is all of it say all of it. all of it creation would be all things is this too difficult do I need a chart creation the world everything in it on it under it around it all things all things work together for good for you is a glory of God all creation itself being delivered from the bondage of corruptions into the glorious liberty of the children of God mm -hmm. and is a power of the world to come all things work together for good for me all creation works together for good for me say that all creation, all creation works, together works together for good for, good. for, me. for me you're speaking words you need to say it you need to say that all creation works together for good for you can you see that's part of the orthopraxy and the orthodoxy that we believe and the heterodoxy that we live ah so creation itself would be all things is that too difficult and how much of creation all of it how much of creation will respond to your words spoken when you speak the Word of God all of it thank you come to the front all creation responds to the Word of God spoken out of your mouth all things work together for good for you all things what all creation this is a glory of God can you see this is glorious it's a glory of God and it is a power of the world to come Hebrews chapter 6 verse 5 says taste the good word of God and the powers of the world to come and by tasting we mean we're speaking it and have the powers of the world to come be manifest so all things working together for good for you is a power of the world to come but you must say it if you don't say it you won't see it and we know that all things work together for good for me all things all creation works together for good for me that feels good when I say it 
all creation works together for bad mm, no all creation works together for good for me it's a power of the world to come it's a glory of God we walk in it now get that straight you must say it and then you must experience it because we are supposed to be partaking of the powers of the world to come now we enter into it by saying it and believing mm -hmm. and we do this now the glory of the Lord of spirits shall cover the earth how much all of it are you getting this does it cover that part of the earth yeah it covers it and I am the one to make this happen I glorify God in my body and how far can that go how far should that go all of it all things all creation works together for good for me I say it that's orthopraxy I believe it that's orthodoxy and I live this way that's heterodoxy it's an act of worship and I must have it all I hope that you can understand this you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost as God I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and all things become yours I must have it all say I must, I must have, have it, all. it all why would that be because you are the temple of God and it is his glory listen it is his glory through you that shall cover the earth Holy Ghost I thank you for this revelation that people have acquired in these last days we can rise up and take a hold together with you of all the greatness that you have in store for us and covering the earth with your glory in the wonderful name of Jesus amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hands say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that all the silver and all the gold belongs to you and I belong to you and therefore I can walk in it to your glory in the fullness in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth